So guys, it's your boy Firewild and Forge is in the game. Now I've got a bit of a different commentary for you today. Normally I just play live and basically make it up as I go along. But today I'm talking about Forge. This is recorded. Uh, it's not live. And I'm just showing you gameplay from Forge. And it came out not so long ago. In fact, I think it was yesterday or the day before. Um, so I've had a little play around with it as you can see on the screen right now. And first impressions, wow. I mean, it is absolutely insane. I mean, this is only a snippet of what you can do. I mean, I, I am, let me just uh, set the scene. I'm completely useless at Forge. I mean, I did a bit in Halo Reach, uh, just messing around with your friends. That's what you used to do. But um, this on this scale, nothing has ever been done on Halo to this scale. And to be honest, I think most games, I can't even dream about this sort of thing. Now, some... It wasn't out at launch, and we're about a month and a half later. And I asked people on Twitter whether or not they're happy that Forge was delayed after seeing these customizable options, and 100% of people said yes. So, um, obviously, that's brilliant. People seem to agree with me. If you're not following me on Twitter, follow me at FarwildKid. Um, and it's clear that 343 have put time and effort into making this forge and it's good to see i mean master chief collection was rushed and it came out in a broken state month and a half later for forge and it comes out and we are witnessing ladies and gentlemen something that this was beyond my wildest dreams like halo reach forge was actually set the bar really high halo 4 didn't quite show up to that but this has absolutely blown everything out the water and when you look at customizable games, you look at, or building, you look at Minecraft, and you look at simulators, and you look at, like, Gary's mod, although I'm not too, uh, too accustomed to that, but it's really actually set the tone and the bar really, really high. Now, of course, not, not everything's perfect. I mean, there are a few issues here and there. I'm just going to go for the negatives right now. First of all, it's not user-friendly. Now, this is a really, really, um loose term if you like I mean look down the left hand side of the screen and you will see all of the buttons all of the buttons and in that in that respect yes it is user friendly but at the same time it is difficult I mean if you create a good map with Forge round of applause to that man because honestly it's difficult and it's not saying that you're going to be able to accomplish overnight, if you know what I'm saying. We're going to go, you're going to take time into this. The controls are slightly different as well from previous games. You no longer hold trigger to like uh, go fast, uh, like the the bumpers to go up and down. It's all changed like A and X now, and hold in to go faster. It's a little bit different, and uh, as well, which I'm a little bit annoyed at. There's no buildings now. In previous forges, you've been able to place forges like bunkers, like you see on the actual um, one you've got. Uh, in basin uh, on this game you can't place buildings unfortunately or you can but I haven't seemed to find them yet um, but buildings were obviously a really good thing that I quite enjoyed putting them in like the sniper tower like towers buildings they're all really good and the last thing is that it's quite difficult to get used to as you can see I mean I was playing this for about half an hour a bit of forge and I, s I still don't know what I'm doing <laughs> quite honestly however despite the negatives the positives it absolutely speaks for itself I mean, first of all, you got great control over. You can do just about anything. You've got great control over everything. You can change the X, the Y. Um, like it actually shows you if it's level or not. It lets people. This is kind of cringy, but it lets people express themselves. I mean, you've got so many options. You can create just about anything. Um, it's a nice skybox, actually. It's um. You've got three different maps. Uh, I can't remember the names. You're seeing two of them on the screen now: the space one and the. Uh, grassy planet you've also got an ice one um, but they're very nice quite nice um, not quite forge world but you know forge world I don't think you're ever gonna see anything quite like that again you're able to pl place loads of objects and when I mean loads I mean absolutely thousands of objects it's I think uh, due to the Xbox One's power you can place more objects than you ever ha can on any other ha forge you got you can snap the objects as you used to be able to um, and like stick them together. You've got grouping now that's brilliant. Grouping's good. You can actually line stuff up and then select them all and then move them all at once where they stay in relation to each other. They stay in the same place and that is magnificent. Say you built something on one part of the map and you needed to move it over, 
bang, you're in. Especially if you like had to do like an intricate detail and like you know when it's all sort of muddled up and your forge ball bounces up and down, it's impossible to see what you're doing. It's good that you can now move it a bit from outside to in. That's good to see. Also, you can change like the time of day. You uh, you can have filters like you could have filters, but not to this extent. You can have an earthquake for God's sake. An earthquake! I mean, that's absolutely insane. Uh, you don't have to use like a Vegas um, shake of the screen to actually achieve that now. And also, something that is actually quite un over overlooked, I think, is the coordinates. Now, the coordinates it's odd because I think they're actually quite an unsung hero for the uh, for the new forge. I mean, it's quite a basic element, but at the same time, it's it's sort of I don't know. It makes it seem one more professional and so you can actually see what you're doing and where the coordinates are and so if you like calling to your friend I'll come to those coordinates they can come over and check um I don't know if we've got I think you can do two player forge I'm not sure um but other than that I mean I've only just scratched the surface of what there is to offer in forge if you have not gone on it yet it is actually a must do also ranks reset as you saw in my previous video that's all from me go on forge absolutely sick like, subscribe to on Twitch, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace out.